Hi traders, this is Andrew Masters from FIBO Group, and welcome to my weekly Forex report. On Tuesday, the focus will again be on the Asian session, with the release of the latest interest rate decision from the Reserve Bank of Australia, followed by a monetary press conference. No changes in rates are expected, so all eyes will be on the following statement for signs of the bank's future movements, and we expect some volatility in the Australian dollar. In the American session, we'll see the release of the latest ISM non-manufacturing index from the US, which is a key indicator of business confidence, and will provide some opportunities in the US dollar. On Wednesday, GDP figures from Australia are bound to create some action in the market and are closely connected with any future rate hikes from the RBA, so this news is bound to create a range of opportunities in the Australian dollar. In the American session, we'll once again see an interest rate decision and monetary press conference, but this time from the Bank of Canada. No changes in rates here are also expected, but there are rumours that the next move may be a drop and not up. So this news, if confirmed, will create some pressure in the Canadian dollar. On Thursday, during the European session, we'll see the latest interest rate decision from the ECB, followed by a monetary press statement. There are rumours swirling that the European Central Bank may be on the verge of raising rates. So this release will be closely watched, and we expect extreme volatility in the euro. In the American session, we'll see trade balance figures from the US which is a key indicator of business confidence and will provide some opportunities in the US dollar. On Friday, during the Asian session, we'll see the release of import, export and trade balance figures from China, which should paint a clear picture on the state of business conditions in the world's second largest economy and create some opportunities in the Chinese won. The highlight of the day will be during the American session with the release of the non-farm payrolls figure an unemployment rate from the US, which is bound to create some big movements and opportunities in the US dollar to close out the week. That's all from me at FIBO Group, and I'll see you all next week.